Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. Hi, in this lecture we are going to learn how we can control two-channel solid-state relay to control two AC bulb or two AC load like this. I'm connecting only one using two push buttons independently. When you push, the light is on and it stays on and push off, it will off. And the same way for the other one, as you can see, this is turned on and off. Let's get started with this. Many times you need to control two AC bulb or AC load like this and using solid state relay. This module is sold on eBay and AliExpress. I will provide you the link. Yeah, this is very versatile and easy to use. We have two solid state relay by Omron, and this is one of the best brand in the market. This is made in Japan, and this can handle up to two ampere. Each can handle two ampere. Here we are going to uh, use these two push buttons to control them. Uh, I've seen people have requested this a lot because when you push the button, it will be on and release, it will turn off. But in this case, I've written this code, so when you push it, it stays on and it stays off. For example, now channel 1 is off. When I press it, it is on and it stays on. Even my finger is removed. Both of them are now on. I, I can independently turn them on and off. So this will be very useful for many applications. Let me now explain the hardware. So this state really has uh, three advantages. The first one is because it is solid state and there is no mechanical movement. This can uh, last very long with comparing to mechanical or magnetic relay. The second advantage is it can connect and disconnect very fast. Sometimes in application you need to connect AC uh, load or AC bulb uh, using Arduino very fast. This can do it. And the third one is because it's solid, solid state and there is no mechanical movement, the life expectancy of this one is much longer than the mechanical relay. These uh, solid state relays, for each we have two terminal here that you can connect your load and for this one we have two other terminals for this that you can connect your load. This side we have four terminals, this is DC plus, they have written it, this is VCC or will be connected to 5 volts of Arduino. This minus is connected to the ground of Arduino, and then we have channel 1, channel 2. Channel 1 will control solid state relay number 1, and channel 2 will control solid state number 2. These two are connected to Arduino. Pen, this will be connected to pin 2 and pin 3, which I will be going to show you next. These solid state relays are offered in two types of trigger. Here it says high trigger, which means at the input we will receive 5 volts or higher voltage, higher than 2.5 to turn this on. And if you get a low trigger, then with a zero volts or uh, less than two volts, it will be turned on and any voltage above 2.5 volts, which will be considered as high, will turn it off. But this one can be turned on with high voltage or five volts and turn off with zero voltage. Uh, here we have also a diode that if you connect the polarity incorrectly, this protects the device. Also, we have two LEDs. When this is turned on, the LED will be turned on, indicating which channel is on or which channel is off. The width of the module is 33 mm, length is 55.2 mm, the depth is 24.7 mm. This is an AC desktop bulb and this is a power plug that I connected to the wall and 120 volts which will turn on and off. Now at this point I've cut one of these two wires at this point and twisted it and soldered it can be connected to relay. Job of relay is to connect this and the AC bulb is on or AC load whatever fan you have and disconnect it to turn it off. So I will be connecting these two to the relay. This is the wiring diagram for the two-channel solid state relay with push button. Let me start with the push buttons. I've used a breadboard. The red side is on this side and the blue is up. From the blue side, the wire is brought to the ground of Arduino. 
and I've inserted two push buttons. The push buttons has uh, two ways. One side is one uh, connector, the other side is the other connector. If it doesn't work for you, rotate it 90 degrees. This side is connected to the ground and the other is also connected to the ground. Both of these are connected to the ground and this is push button one. This is connected using a white wire to pin two and this is push button two connected using a gray wire to pin three. So this will control solid state relay one and this one will control the solid state relay two which will control the bulb number two. On the module this is the plus DC. This will be connected to 5 volts using a red wire. This is a ground or minus DC, DC minus. This is connected using a yellow wire to the ground. This is channel 1 using blue wire have been connected to pin 8. And channel 2 is connected using a purple wire to pin 9. The two bulbs, as I've shown you how to connect a bulb, the two wires that we said you cut will be connected in here and for the channel 1 will be connected at these two terminals. There are two types of push buttons. I'm using this one because it has longer leg for breadboard but if you are getting this type of push button uh, just press it with your plier. The legs will be longer and it will be inserted easily in breadboard. Here, one is inserted. If you're using this type, also it can be inserted. Use a screwdriver to guide the pins. And it has been inserted easily. But the other one has a longer leg. And to explain the wiring, this side is connected using a gray wire to this blue line. And the other one also the same, I've connected to that line. And this is connected using this to the ground of Arduino. This side of the switch, this is connected to pin 2. This is push button 1. And this, from this side of this, is connected to pin 3. This is push button 2. You can use also this type of push button, doesn't matter. Connect this to the breadboard. And here from the solid state, the first wire, the red, is connected to 5 volts. The second pin is the negative, it's connected to the ground. Uh, this is channel 1, that's channel 2. Blue is channel 1, and both of these are connected to pin 8 and 9. Blue is 8 and the purple is 9. For the push button, white, which is push button 1, is connected to pin 2, and gray is pin 3. This is a ground, ground is connected on the second ground of Arduino. And as I've shown you, the two wires that you cut for your bulb will be connected to this terminal, that is the channel 1. The second bulb will be connected to these two terminals. Word of warning, it will be very dangerous once you connect this to the power to touch this area and do not put this on a surface that is metallic or a conductive. If you found this tutorial helpful, please thumb up and also click on the subscribe on the right side in the lower corner. I really appreciate it. Let me now explain the code. We have defined uh, a, an integer called push button 1 and push button 2 as constant so they cannot be changed during the execution of code. And I have used pin 2 for channel 1, push button 1 and pin 3 for push button 2. This push button 1 will be connected to pin 2, push button 2 will be connected to pin 3 of Arduino. Then we have defined solid state relay 1 pin, solid state relay 2 pin, SSR1, SSR2 and I'm using pin 8 and 9. If you're using those pins for other purpose, you can change them. Then the trigger type, high. This module that I'm using is high. If yours is low, just type low, and this will take care of uh, turning it on and off accordingly. This, this value is pushed one, pushed two, is used internally within the code. Do not change it. This is just storing the status of a button. 
and SSR1 status high, SSR2 status high. Please also do not change this. Then SSR on, SSR off are two variables that are used to control the relay and we are defining on and off based on the type of trigger which will be used internally. Inside the setup we are defining the serial monitor so this can print this text for us with 9600 is baud per second or baud is the value that is on the right lower corner here this must match otherwise you will not be able to read this data. Using pen mode push button 1 this is the push button that we have defined we are defining push button 1 as I've defined it as an input and also I use underscore pull up using this you are eliminating using of extra resistor which I have another video the link will be provided if you want to learn about it and this also for push button 2 and then after that we define pin SSR pin 1 and pin 2 as an output these will be connected to the SSR inputs and then here we check if the trigger type is high then we define what is the meaning of on. On mean high and off mean low. If the trigger type is low, then it will be the opposite. On is low and off is high. Then throughout the uh, code, I will be using this instead of these. And it automatically on means regardless of the type, it will work for us. After that is defined, then we go and set the initial status of the pen, SSR pen, and we set it as off and SSR pin 2 also we set it as off so the two relay will be initially off in case for any reason you need this the opposite just change this with this variable SSR on and when you turn the device on initially it will be on inside the loop we read the push button using digital read push button 1 and also push button 2 the value which we read is stored in this variable called val1 val2 which means value 1 value 2 once we read that then we check if val1 is equal this 2 equal sign means compare this to the value of high and SSR status is low if it is low then what we do is we get the value of pushed remember we have defined here pushed 1 pushed 2 this is the status we change the status how we change this this line is just arithmetic to change the push either if it is high make it low if it is low make it high how it does is if this is one and we have one minus one one minus one becomes zero so this will be zero if it is zero then this is the same variable this is the same as this variable if this is zero then one minus zero will be one so this will be changed to one and this was for push button one and here we do the same thing for push button two ssr2 status and we check it so this line the job of this one is to change this when you pushed it and then we store the value of one at the ssr1 state this will memorize that uh, if the ssr is on or off we just store it here and for ssr2 it will be stored in ssr2 status and that and then we check if pushed is equal high then we print this which will print this on for us and then digital write ssr1 pen ssr on the job of this one is to turn the ssr on if that is not true then we turn it off that this is for ssr1 and we do the same thing for ssr2 the relay will be turned on if it is pressed if it is not it will be off and then we print this to tell us that the loop is done this is printing in here and we wait 100 milliseconds and the loop continuously doing the same thing and here is a demonstration uh, serial monitor continuously monitors the status of the push buttons as you can see it shows SSR1 is off and SSR2 is off and now when I press this button also the light of channel 1 that is channel 1 which is connected to this bulb and channel 2 is not connected to anything but you will be able to see the LED or light on this is push button 1 and that is push button 2 push button 1 will control channel 1 and push button 2 will control channel 2 when I press it as you can see this is on and that LED is also on 
uh, I, it, this can stay and I can press the push button too and the second solid state relay is on if the load was here that will be on and independently I can turn off and turn on this will not affect the other one and also when I press it it shows the two of them are on one is off it shows continuously if you don't need uh, this serial monitor helps before you even connect this you can check your work in here this was how to control two channel of solid state relay with two push buttons to control two AC bulb or AC load thank you for watching please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here thank you if you have comment or question please post it at the comment section below i try to answer and reply and don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos